let's recall attributes. So attributes are part of objects, and there's all this new terminology about functions and methods and attributes. I'd like to just review it. So all objects have attributes, which are name value pairs. Classes are objects too. So classes have attributes. An instance attribute is the attribute of an instance of a class. And a class attribute is the attribute of the class of an instance. So there's two different places you could find an attribute, in its instance or in its class. Now, here's for the tricky part. We have the set of all class attributes and the set of all things that are functions. Functions aren't particular to object-oriented programming, but methods are. So a method is a function that's also a class attribute. In the Python object system, functions are objects. Bound methods are also objects, slightly different kinds of objects, that has a function with its first parameter self already filled in, already bound to an instance. Dot expressions evaluate to bound methods when you have a class attribute that's a function. And this is a very common pattern where you have some instance here before the dot, and after the dot you have a method name. Then that method is the function named with the instance filled in as the self parameter. Let's just quickly review what happens when you evaluate a dot expression. You evaluate this by evaluating the expression on the left of the dot, which yields an object. Name is matched against the instance attributes. If an instance attribute exists with that name, its value is returned as the value of the whole dot expression. If not, then name is looked up in the class, which yields a class attribute value. And that value is returned unless it's a function, in which case you get a slightly different version of the function. You get a bound method, where you get the function with its first parameter bound already to the object of the dot expression. 